all right guys welcome back to another segment you know the way we normally do it and i'm always here to give you guys updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone yes um kai harvard has attracted the likes of asna asna now don't join the race to sign kai harvard <laughs> don't worry i'm going to go into that information in details very soon and also i'm going to be talking about the meeting that was held today within the chelsea and inter milan board over kalido kolibali uh, lukaku and andrew onana i'm going to go into that news in details soon too and also Tottenham has picked interest in signing Kono galaga into their team and also chelsea are putting an eye on onana of everton the defensive midfielder for the Belgian defensive midfielder you understand they are putting an eye on that guy which i'm going to talk about it but before i go into this information in details or this news in details please kindly like this video share and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to this channel because on this channel i only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone my name is peters yes according to chelsea dodger though i have a different platform that has carried the information but i have to share it from chelsea, chelsea dodger so you guys according to chelsea dodger he said that Arsenal are hopefully they can strike a deal closer to 16 million pounds exclusive of add-ons it is understood they are willing to pay the german germany international in excess of 200 pounds 200 000 pounds weekly to sign importantly harvard is keen to move across london if arsenal and chelsea can reach an agreement over a transfer fee harvard is aware of arsenal interest well it's not a bad one no, but come to think of it we will tell ourselves the truth on our make has harvard come up for chelsea let us not be that biased Chelsea fan. Let's tell ourselves: Do you want Harvard to leave Chelsea? Look at the kind of thing that is that is that is going for this guy: Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, now Arsenal. Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Arsenal, that are going for this guy. And still yet we wait hold on for hand. We they say no, 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 make it a go, make it a go, just because of this season, you know, perform way. Just because of this season, no being season with the push them out the problem i have with we chelsea fans is that we are not patient as in if we are not getting the result immediately make it a go for now we need to talk anything about mood uh, mood drag because of it just come new we see the pet stuff that's the whole our side if next season come we don't see any ads come up make it a go don't man say you got the patient with this man them to come up small small Kai Harvard has paid his due. He has paid his bill. He scored winning goal for Champions League. He don't pay. He don't pay. That guy, this guy did well when he came. came. Though the, his first season with Chelsea was not that easy. He struggled, but at least at 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 as uh, at a long run, he started performing well. We were even appreciating Kai Harvard. Some to the point sometimes if Kai Harvard not did match, I know some Chelsea fans will say, Oh more Kai Harvard did that match, or more you know the more problem go do but now we are jubilating and we are happy and we are pressing hard for them to say kai harvard though the guy on the own side so the guy won't leave the club no doubt you understand because any contract we're going to extend right now they're going to go pay them up to that amount when they end right now so arsenal don't come and don't see if they feel strike it close to 60 million pounds and also pay them in current way during the end for chelsea right now then they are good to go if chelsea will accept the fee where arsenal go bring but for me i will say make arsenal finalize on the clean rise first make them finalize on the clean rise well whichever way the information we say arsenal they come for kai harvard you understand you understand Arsenal don't join the race to sign Kai Havard. Then, as for this guy, uh, what's his name? Conor Gallagher. We get up, they say, Tottenham now, don't they put eye for him, body? You understand? Initially, it was Lucas too that was put, uh, putting interest, uh, you understand, on Conor Gallagher. But right now, Tottenham has joined the race to see if they can sign Conor Gallagher. You understand? But for now, Pochettino never talk anything. If Connor day part of in plan or not you understand you never say any never talk anything about that guy but i believe say 
I believe say if Connor, I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to feel pity for him, but let them just loan him out again if possible. Let them just loan him out. Just that the football, I don't know what he mean they play for Crystal Palace before we even go call him back. And even as we call him back, this was his time to even show himself. This time, which is more when I thought uh, because he was giving more opportunity this season. Gallagher got more opportunity to show himself to prove himself that he can still play for the squad, but still yet, no make his of him. You get me? Uh, if he played 10 matches, the only two he go do were the remaining eight, nothing come out. But whichever way, most see if Chelsea go seal the deal, make a permanent for any club, we go come for him. You understand? But right now, 30 am they put eye for him, body. We could see how that one go work out for well. then. Concerning the meeting with Inter Milan today over Kalido Kolebali and Lukaku and Andre Onana, Chelsea have decided that they don't want to loan these players out again. That if Inter Milan they want these players, they should better do what is needful. They should do the needful. And that they should sign them on a permanent deal. That Chelsea is not accepting any loan deal. Chelsea no one loan Lukaku. Chelsea no one loan Kolebali. They want to sell them out. They want to sell them. If they want them, they come buy. You understand? Like I told you guys now, Porsche already said that Kolibali is not part of his plan. But me, myself, me, I'm saying that I don't want that Kolibali to go. I don't want Kolibali. See, I don't want someone to say tomorrow, we'll say, Che, if to say this guy been there, why we can't sign a consul and nah, 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 nah. That is what I'm saying. I don't want Kolibali to go. We feel not see importance this season, but that guy, leave him. Experience matter. You get that, you still get that experience. You understand? No, no, forget saying leave Italian league, come, come, uh, English league, come play. English league and Italian league, no, be the same team. You understand? If they try to one settle, now, as the season, they even end now. Now, Kolibali, they try to settle that. If you watch, once, as the season come to end, it can't be like saying football, can't they change, can't they understand how the system be. You understand? So, selling Kolibali. Or more, me have for some and given this season where they come, next season where they come, you understand? We should go start maybe sometime 11th of August, new season, season supposed don't kick off. Then, as for Angelana, uh, Inter Milan still they demand, demand high fee. They are still standing their ground that if Chelsea is not paying this amount of money, then they are not releasing the player to us. But I know that it's not my it's business, you understand? It's business. It happened during the time of Enzo Fernandez, sometime last, uh, uh, during the January transfer. You understand? During the January transfer, when Chelsea wanted to sign Enzo, we are pushing, we, we, uh, we approached the first time, they ignored us. We approached the second time, they, you know, they, we, we approached the third time. They even casted our name on, the, on social media. Both the coach, both the owner, everything. They were all saying that Chelsea, we are very unserious to come for Enzo Fernandez. You understand? But last, last, the player, they are our club. No, be so. They are our club. So everything remains for Chelsea. And I know that if they push harder, they will get mm, and yeah. Nana understand to chelsea i know that if they push harder they'll get that player to chelsea they'll get go, they'll get the goalkeeper to chelsea if they push harder you understand because it is not over until it is over for now the transfer market just the open then we got a new one still on chelsea dodger he said that chelsea have resumed this discussion with everton over signing amadou onana the toughies are open for his departure and they need the money they want to recover 55 million pounds uh, onana is a defensive midfielder he's good he's strong he's agile he's more like casidio but casidio is the most power of two of onana you understand casidio and the pro max of onana that is the agile the okay onana is strong he's good understand instead instead of that uh, this guy uh romeo lavia i go for onana i don't know for you guys you can drop your comment concerning this guy instead of romeo lavia i go for onana you understand so now the matter with the ground be that right now arsenal are pushing for kai harvard chess is not accepting for that loan deal for lukaku and also they're not accepting any loan deal for kolibali they are saying that they want to sell these two players on a permanent deal and also Inter Milan still stand their ground on the high fee over Andre Onana. Then a new defensive midfielder alerts come up, which is Onana of Everton. 
you understand so guys that will be all for now do it to like the video share and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to this channel because on this channel i only give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone